Hello and welcome to this calculatorial. We are going to calculate this integral by using the calculator because as we are in a paper 2 for the IB exam we can use our calculator and we are going to do it to calculate the integral. Now it must be an integral with limits, a defined integral, not an antiderivative. So we must have limits to put to the calculator. Now we go there to the graph menu to see if we can see what is going on. And we are going to input the function, yes, like that, and we need a, a bracket there because all that is a exponent, so we do it like that, plus one, and we close the bracket, and we graph it, okay, draw, okay, this is what we are going to be doing, I would like to see this, because the integral goes from 1 to 0 to 2.5, so from here to 2.5, so I would like to, to see it better, so I'm going to take a closer look with the view window, I'm going to put the x, let's say from 0 to 4, why not, or to 3 and in the y we're going to go uh, much closer so let's do it from negative 1 to 2 like that, okay? so there we draw it again and we have it better we are seeing now from 1 to 2.5 so let's do the integral we are going to go to the G-Solve menu that menu that helped us a lot and we're going to go with a little arrow with F6 to the integral, here we have the integral ok, and we can now start introducing our limits don't write anything yet because don't move with the arrows because it's very not so easy to go to the exactly the number 1, so you don't do anything and start pressing the buttons like 1 which is a lower bound don't press anything now and press the upper bound which is 2.5 now execute and you know, this is the area that you are calculating from 1 to 2.5 and the area is 0 0.493 remember to use three significant figures ok, done there is another way of calculating the integral which is in the menu for uh, calculations the menu number one look, I'll show you there what you have to do is go to options and then go to calculus with this F4 and then go to integral again with F4 then you, you see this bracket will, will tell the calculator which is all the integral that you are calculating and now you in the middle there you put the function like x and then the same the same thing that we did before you input the function like minus x squared now plus one you close the bracket and now this is a function then you need a little comma to start writing the limits you put a comma lower bound now a little comma and the upper bound and then you close the the bracket for the integral so it's the integral of all that this is the function from 1 to 2.5 okay what we want to calculate then you press execute and you have it 0 0.497 the same answer as we had before obviously okay so that's the way you do it bye bye